I'm just out to all those who want to be the best. Heavyweight, lightweight, world champion. God bless. To be the best is a never ending venture, a weight venture To get out of the clutches of the average son of Sam To you I'll be damned, but the truth is I'm the best Far better than the rest, I beat your head, beat your body I beat your torso, until they gotta know Marty <laughs> Cause my name is Lottie I got a big big left hand and a hoop for your body Yeah <laughs> Alright my friends um, this is a list I made up of some of the greatest boxers of all time um, and their attributes uh, I've seen other channels, boxing channels try to um, you know make these type of lists up um, do some statistics on what the strengths and weaknesses of the, the fighter is and um, I can only go by what we've seen, you know, during their careers, and I'll explain. I'll explain what I got here. But what we seem to have is um, the potential in the right column here of the the current best heavyweights. Um, the potential of them to be, you know, some of the the greatest fighters of of all time. They, they got that potential. As you can see, they got quite a high total. They get quite high scores. The first three columns is more the offensive co uh, column, and then the last three is sort of your your defense a little bit. Um, that's just where in, when endurance and stamina comes in, you know, w w which you've got to have to be one of the greats, you know. And Rocky Marciano, Muhammad Ali, uh, Joe Lewis. They had, you know, high endurance and stamina, especially Rocky. You know, you could hit him with all your best shots and he would stand there. He'd just still stand and look at you and keep hitting you back, just keep hitting you back, you know. And, um, you know, they called the rock for, you know, no reason. But uh, the rock in Hebrew is Peter. And I think it was a man called Peter Maher from Ireland who... You know, from that generation going back towards the uh, the nineteenth century, um, you know, when the first heavyweights came came around, and uh, you know these these guys fought like forty round fights and pretty much bare knuckle. You know, one hundred and seventy. I think he'd over a hundred knockouts. Peter Maher. Um, we don't have any. Um, certainly, don't know of any um, footage of him fighting. But these guys were on a sort of a class themselves, and then there was, of course, Jack Dempsey, um, who fought back in the 1920s, I think, at the very high first round knockout rate. But these were the days they didn't have the three knockdown rules, so if they did, they would have had a lot more, over 30 first round knockouts. You still get the highest um, grossing gate in history, the first million pound fight. Was 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 by Jack Dempsey. He was only like a super middleweight or sort of a light heavyweight. And the guys, you know, compared to some of the men he fought, he was like a little boy, but he he beat them, you know. And um, I think he was an inspiration for like Mike Tyson. And uh, so, you just look at some of the statistics uh, in a second. I've made a video about, you know, the lineal, best lineal heavyweights and the, the most titled defences is still Joe Lewis. It's Joe Lewis right there. Um, I was watching a documentary about him last night. It was really touching. I really found it. You know, it reminded me of uh, my dad as well. How, you know, his son had to sign him into somewhere and I ended up having to do do the same thing but but uh it's quite quite a touching story. You know, I was thinking about putting Jack Dempsey in there. But you got all all these Jack Johnston even was uh going back before Jack Jack Dempsey. 
Um, I think he was the first black heavyweight champion, and he really they gave him a really hard time. The authorities there in America, but um, it's like Dante Wilder, George Foreman. It's like one of my favourites. I think he's like uh, I really like him. Evander Holyfield. So let's go back to this list again, and uh, you might agree, disagree with some of these points, but I just put, you know, to, to what we can see, to what we know, any score over 80 means that you're really world class <coughs> in that category. <coughs> um, you know, there's uh, a lot of modern heavyweights, you know, let's go champ. Um, he's powerful, but, you know, his, his movement and agility is not, I wouldn't even put it as high as, as a lot of these guys here. You know, and uh, well, there's there's a few others that uh, you know are like Mike Tyson. You can think about they are on that list. Um, let's have a look at it again. Joe Frazier, that's the guy I was trying to remember his name. Joe Frazier, the guy with the the left hook. Um, but I, I really think that. Mike Tyson was Mike Tyson's left foot. A lot of people say it was his right uppercut, but I I would say it was his his left hook that did sort of the most damage in his in his career. But you get you get these guys here. They're really in a class of their own. You know the old the old school fighters, um, Rocky Marciano, Muhammad Ali. have got them as as the best. You know, um, the best ever. But potentially, you know, you've got Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, maybe even potentially Anthony Joshua that, that can come up and, but they have to prove themselves. I mean, these guys have fought more than double <coughs> the amount of fights that Fury, Joshua has. Wilder's got some good experience. So he, he's a chance to really cement himself as, as the best of this generation. But, you know, um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think uh, Fury's movement is slightly better than Deontay Wilder. Obviously, Wilder's got got the power as well. Um, the sort of timing. There's other things that make up a fighter. You know, like what rate Rocky Marciano's what rate was very very high when Mike Tyson started. His what rate was very high, but perhaps you know uh, during his career, he sort of the lifestyle he had. He sort of maybe. If, fell away from from it a little bit and maybe his stamina suffered a little bit and you know a few other fighters like Holyfield were able to take advantage of that because they're quite elusive you know he's he had quite good movement Holyfield is able to stay in the fight and just keep on pressing Tyson and uh, Tyson wasn't at his sharpest you know by the time Holyfield faced him but um, so that's the list here um, don't know if you'd agree with it, but I think it's pretty fair. Got Joe Lewis totaling about five thirty. Joe Lewis really fought as a a white style fighter because they didn't want another Jack Johnson around, so he had to really train and act like um, just like a white American, you know. But you know that when when the blacks really got a chance of making making some some money, obviously they, a lot of them flaunted that Jack Johnson had the had the gold teeth and all that stuff. Um, they really flaunted it <laughs> in in the face of everyone. And I think that I think that a lot a lot of people didn't like that. Joe Lewis was a very reserved person, a very quiet person, um, quite a likable person, I think. But um, there we go. Uh, these are his stats. His movement wasn't the best for a black fighter. Um, neither was his agility. I think his power is pretty average. What he did have was high endurance and stamina. I think he trained. He trained very hard. He did a lot of road work. So that's that's how you get high endurance and stamina. You got to go out and jog. And Dante Wilder doesn't do that. <laughs> he's in he's in good condition. He's strong. He's fit. But I don't think his his stamina and his endurance is as high as like a guy like Joe Lewis. That's why you know, even though his points total. Uh, is higher 
and Joe Lewis, you know, when when they get in the ring, you, you don't know what could happen. You know, a Joe Lewis could just hang in there and just batter away like Holyfield. So that's that's the styles. Styles make fights, you know. Um, I think that Tyson Fury's defense. Um, he's been put down before, but uh, his movement's very good. His defense is very good. I think Deontay Wilder's defense is, is pretty good. I mean, he makes mistakes at times, but he, he, he more than often rolls with the punches. Um, so he's he was caught flush a few times in his last fight, Lewis Ortiz. Um, you could you could put Lewis Ortiz in here, pretty much. Um, his endurance should be quite low. I think Lewis Ortiz. I'd put Ortiz's endurance down about eighty, perhaps. Um, his stamina, eighty-five maybe. Defense, nah, he's, he's, he was decent enough, but quite low endurance and stamina. Lewis Ortiz. He's attacking. Uh, his attacking attributes would be pretty high, <coughs> but um, <coughs> as I say, all the greats had. At this endurance and stamina, um, Ahmad Ali is just sort of the best all round um, boxer. You could say, uh, you could even say he's got a higher higher movement. Probably I could have put him up a hundred for his movement, but uh, I've got Anthony Joshua's power a hundred there. I've got Rocky's stamina a hundred. <clears throat> could possibly have put Ahmad Ali's up at a hundred at certain times in his career, but. You, you know, when you look at the entirety of his career, he did lose quite a few towards the end. He probably boxed a bit too long, I would have said. <clears throat> but um, arguably, Muhammad Ali is the best all-round heavyweight boxer of all time. Rocky Marciano is there and thereabouts as well. So, so yeah, Klitschko... His power was a little bit less than uh, Vitaly. was a little bit less than Vladimir. <clears throat> Probably a little bit better agility. But I would have said that, you know, he got caught, like when he fought Lennox Lewis, Vitaly got caught, uh, cut quite a lot. So maybe his movement, 80, 85, you know. Endurance maybe not quite as high, but they're and thereabouts. Are very similar fighters, Vladimir and Vitaly. So maybe, maybe it was his defense or or whatever it was. Sometimes he got st um, stopped. But um, I think in general he, he was he was a he was better a better offensive boxer than uh, Vladimir. But very very similar in styles. So I don't know what else uh, to say about this. You've got Tyson Fury. I think that's pretty much right what, what we've seen of him so far. Um, and Anthony Joshua. You know, he could be working in his agility and movement, I would say, for the for the next coming fight. A lot of people say that he's um, lost weight, that he's concentrating more on, on this area, which uh, is not, not the, the best, but he, he, he could improve on it. You know his defense, his movement, his agility, um, which is which I've got him about the same as Joe Lewis, and um, for these attributes. So you can uh, tell me tell me what you think of this list. Um, I think it's pretty accurate. I'm quite a good analyst. You know I've worked at anal analytical jobs before, um, information type of jobs before. Um, so I'm usually. I'm usually pretty good eye for these type of things, but tell me what you think. A guy I've not mentioned on the list is Larry Holmes, because really, Larry Holmes, I thought he just get beat by, a lot of people did get beat in that era by Oliver McCall. But, um, you know, his loss against Holyfield, Tyson, and Spinks, I really think that, I, I just don't put him as one of the, the greats, really. Um, I think he was just a good boxer. He was sort of a good all-round boxer, yeah. But I just don't think he had uh, as, as high a rating as, as the guys I've got on the list there. Um, so that's why never really, to me, never really did anything out, outstanding. He had a very good run of defences. He, he certainly did that, but 
to me, he just wasn't. He just didn't have the outstanding attributes like a Mike Tyson. Like we all remember an early Mike Tyson, or even uh, you know, who else on that list? We mentioned Joe Frazier um, and George Foreman. I think one one at three three times. I think three times heavyweight champion. So it takes a lot to do that in different stages in his life. I just quite like George Foreman as well. So anyhow. So a boxing rep. I'll slap the crap out of your nap. Get some freestyle. Come on. I'll be the best.